Hey y'all, welcome back to the pink envelope. This is a happy, happy day. I have Free Spirit Design Bundle, the November bundle, full spoiler, as in I'm gonna show you everything except one item. We're gonna keep one item as a mystery item. I don't know if I've ever done that before. I feel like I always do full spoilers and actually it's kind of fun to, I, I don't even know what it is, but I think there is a hint in here for the one item that is missing. If you're new around here, Free Spirit Bundle is a home decor subscription box that comes with interior design services. Meaning, once you get your box, you can contact the Free Spirit Bundle team, Victoria leads it, and they're gonna help you decorate with the items. Now, they do send a video, like once your box arrives, you'll get an email with a video that has several different like how-tos, on what to do with your product, the different ways your products can be used. But if you wanna go even above and beyond that, you can schedule a consultation with Victoria and she'll walk through maybe some add-on items you wanna purchase or maybe you wanna paint a wall to go with the items in the box. Victoria will tell you what to do and that is included in the membership with Free Spirit Bundle. This is a quarterly subscription. It does ship a little differently than other boxes. So they ship on, well, they ship so that you will have your box on February 1st, May 1st, August 1st, and I am spoiling the November 1st, 2022 box right now. There is limited inventory left on this box, so if you like it, move quick to order it. If it does sell out, go ahead and pre-order the February bundle. You can go ahead and get in line for pre-sale, and one of the things that's cool that they do is, the box is $249.99, so about $250 per quarter but you can pay for it monthly. So if you sign up now, you can pay $79.99 a month. So one, two, three payments, and then your box arrives. The boxes come with five to seven unique high quality items that are hand curated by Designer Victoria. What else? You get the private styling video to show you how to decorate with. You get the complimentary interior design service. You can join the Facebook group that is really involved. They have like coffee chats, design sessions, all sorts of things going on there every single month. They always have one item that is like a big mamma jamma, like the big item that is like an anchor piece or a unique piece or a handmade piece. And that item typically has like $100 value and then the rest of the items build off of that. If you did not see my very first unboxing of Free Spirit, you can go up here and check it out. You can see this like woven basket. I don't even know what to call it. It's a like a half oval shape basket. It's super unique, super multifunctional. And that was the big item in that box. And something that is really, really cool is I do have a coupon code. If you use code pink envelope, you get a free bonus item in your first box. She does have free US shipping and she said she would give away a gift bundle of your choice to one person on this video. So how it will work is to enter the giveaway, you must like this video, subscribe to my channel, and then comment below what is an item in this box that you love? Maybe you need interior design services, share about that. If you're already a subscriber, share with us what you are loving about Free Spirit Bundle. And that comment will get you entered to win. I'm gonna draw one name in a couple of weeks and that you will win a gift bundle that you can go online and choose which one you want, which is really, really cool. Okay, what else do we need to know? I feel like I had to say all these things I wanna dive in, but I want y'all to have the important stuff. Let's dive in. I'm gonna put this down here so it's not so big. And if I think of the other things, I'll share them with you. This is a newer box, as in this is only my second box to open. So there's so much that is like super exciting. I'm living and learning with you guys on this one. That first box that we did last time, the August bundle, uh, which you guys now have in your possession, uh, sold out so fast. So, so fast. It was a fabulous box. There we go. Okay. Ugh. This box is huge, you guys. Huge. I'm gonna try to hold that. Move my shirt. Look at this. This is what the box looks like upon opening it. And last time we opened one of her boxes, it was gorgeous. Like everything was so much attention to detail. Individual things were wrapped. So here's what this guy looks like. That makes the box so giftable. Like you gift it to yourself and it just feels so good. 
or you can gift it to somebody else and know that it's going to be presented so well. Okay, I'm gonna go for the big and obvious on front. This one has my name on it, so I feel like, yeah, let's open that guy first. Ah, and I have a handwritten note from Victoria, the owner and designer of Free Spirit. Okay, I like feel bad opening this. Can y'all see this little, whatever this guy is, like a dried seedling of some sort? Oh, I'm gonna cut it against my better judgment. I don't wanna lose that. Let's hit this right over here so it doesn't get messed up. Okay, I've seen nothing here by the way. I have no idea what is in this box. Not just this box, but like the whole box. <laughs> I try to avoid spoilers. Sometimes it's not so easily done. Ooh, okay. Can I open it upside down? How do I manage to do that so often? <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Props for it being really well wrapped. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love the coloring for this so much. And of course here I'm in not quite Santa Fe inspired, but we are in San Antonio, so we have a lot of that Santa Fe inspired here. Look at this and the coloring and the pottery. The bottom says it is dishwasher safe. And the tag here says, my unique glaze finish makes me truly one of a kind. Let me serve your guest at your next dinner party or celebration. I'm perfect for chips and dip, hummus and veggies, and more. And so here, let me get it where you can see. She puts in there tips on how to use the item. Is that not so brilliant? I love this with my whole heart. That is gorgeous. Okay, let's go for the item that was just directly above it. It looks like this. Are those little cinnamon sticks right there? That is so cute. This one says, let me add a touch of elegance around your table as you host Friendsgiving and Thanksgiving feasts. Impress your guests and place me on the bathroom counter to be used as a hand towel. I pair beautifully with your mango wood tray as a napkin holder. So let's pull this guy off. And we have these cute napkins. They're 20 guest towels. And it actually says right here, thank you for supporting my small business on that little tag. Love the colors, love the pumpkins. Let's pull one out. And so they are, I mean, I guess you could use it as like a dining table napkin, but absolutely think these would be so cute by a bathroom sink while having a party. Very cute. Or if you had like a charcuterie type setup or a chip and dip setup, but you didn't want to do plates, you absolutely could have these as your serving ware. And then look at this guy. I'm gonna pull this tag off. There is a tag on here, just so you can better see this. Isn't that stunning? The bottom says hand wash only, and it does have little feet. So it is meant to be used to use, like you can wash it. And the tag says, use me in the bathroom to hold your guest towels. Place me on your coffee table to have a home for your remote. Enjoy my hand carved beauty as art and simply display me on the wall or a shelf. And let me catch your keys, mail, and loose change at the front door. So here it is with the napkin. But you absolutely, I mean, well, let's just grab my phone. Here it is with my phone. It's like, if, <laughs> yes, my child has put a picture <laughs> of her bearded dragon as the background of my phone. But as you can see, it could definitely be a catch all for things over by the door. Very, very cool. I love the carving in this so much. Okay. We are off to a great start. I'm gonna put the tags right here so we don't lose them. I don't know what to grab. 
This is the complimentary gift that new subscribers will receive. Oh, very cool. Hold on. So if you are a new subscriber and you use that coupon code that I put in there, this is the bonus item you will get in your first box. And it's wrapped so cute, look. It's like perfectly wrapped. Live thankfully, and it is a little wooden sign. Would be adorable on like a shelf or a tiered tray. Let me see if I can pull this. Ooh, don't fall. Big heavy box, don't fall. It's 10 inches long. So you could, if you have like um, a shelf, like just think about shelves, you can mount this to the front of a shelf. It could sit just about anywhere. I always put things on my coffee bar, like the coffee area and I rotate them. Or like this one says, live thankfully, which I think is very appropriate for the fall season. I'd be tempted to put this somewhere where it would remind me, maybe by my stove or somewhere in my bathroom. I have um, the Dermy Doc Box uh, spinny thing, the two tier like Lazy Susan thing that holds all my beauty product. I wonder if I could set that in there somewhere because it would just be something that would be good to be reminded of, to live thankfully. So I'm always brainstorming little things like that. These are gorgeous and there is a note. Look at these. They look like a beeswax almost. She said, sadly, my beautiful candle sticks got stuck on a boat, but tell subscribers they won't be disappointed in the final surprise item. Okay, we have a clue. These go in the, the mystery item that we're not gonna show here in this video that will come in your box. So these are absolutely phenomenal, can I just tell you? Like they have great texture, they're perfectly imperfect, and clearly, go in something for this like super fall inspired box. Also, can we talk about the color tones here? Like the colors of those candles, they really, really go well with the colors in the napkins, which these are non-traditional colors. I mean, they're fallish, but they're not like trendy colors. And I am here for that. Okay, let's grab, I'm gonna try to grab it in order. But I really want to know what this big item is. Oh, oh, this is bigger than I thought. I thought this thing was little. Look on the front. I am so saving those and repurposing them. That is gorgeous. I love dried greens. They make me so happy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This one's wired. Okay, phone call for my husband. So these are actually dried. This one is wired right there. So there's actually a whole lot more I'm gonna be able to do with these than I originally thought, which is very exciting. I'm gonna set them right here because they look gorgeous beside the candles. And then what is in here? Oh, it's squishy because of bubble wrap, not squishy because of like the item is squishy. What is it? Hold up. That is fabulous. Look at the finish on the bottom. So if you are a OG hardcore home decor sus subscription box subscriber, this looks a little bit familiar. We got something similar to it in a other home decor subscription box. Things to note, this one is shorter than that other one and less, like the other one's taller and it has more of the pounded, like hammered out glass look. This is not clear glass. It does have a little bit of um, waviness to it, but the base is also different. I have to say, I think they actually are gonna sit side by side beautifully, beautifully, beautifully. Let me serve your guest in style this holiday season. Fill me with a delicious drink or use me as a vase and put your favorite flower inside. Either way, I'll be sure to make a statement in your kitchen with my unique gold ombre finish. Very cool. Things I will say is, can y'all see the mouth on this? Pictures with a narrow mouth like this, 
do not pour well. So like if you have liquid for a drink and you go to pour it, it's so narrow right here, it's gonna spill out everywhere. So when using this in a practical, more like drink manner, do note to pour slow and perhaps have a cloth or something underneath that you can set it back down on because it just, that's just the way it is. I use pitchers like every single day. I have daughters, I love serving them. We have guests all the time. So that's just user experience, I guess, so to speak. Of course, if you're using it as a vase, which I would use this as a vase a million percent, I use the other one as a vase as well, uh, you have nothing to worry about. I do love the ombre. I would not let this soak in water. Once again, we're just talking, yeah, it says hand wash only. User experience, this will start to tarnish. Um, I would try not to touch this a lot. Definitely would not let heavy soaps or grease, like don't like go sit this in the sink and walk away. This would be something you'd sit on the side of the sink, scrub the inside, rinse the outside and move on because uh, bases like this, they just over time get patina, which is not a bad thing. It looks a great thing, but it's a good thing to have a heads up on. So we've got a mix of what could be used in other spaces, but we're getting a really good setup for entertaining for the holidays with the pitcher, candles, napkins, serving tray. We got a big item down here. <laughs> okay. Let me do this and sit this over here. What is this? Oh, this pillow is so hearty. It is gorgeous. Y'all know I love tassels and palms, and this is a combination of both, and that is making me feel very, very happy. It says, I am made out of cotton, and my cover can be put in the washer. My gorgeous crochet and tassel detail blend seamlessly on any chair, couch, bench, or bed in your home. Uh, I'm totally putting this in my room. I know, hey, okay, <laughs> let's talk. When you're making the bed and you're stacking the pillows, is the final pillow two individual pillows or a center pillow? I have always stacked like two, 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 and then I have like a lumbar or a detail pillow like this guy right down the center of my bed. But then somebody told me center pillows are so out and nobody's doing them anymore. And I was like, what? Who made this rule? So I would like to know, is that true? Is nobody putting center pillows up anymore? I am, so some people are doing it. I'm just gonna say this guy's gonna go in the center of my bed. But let me, hold on. I wanna grab something from my last box to bring in here to show you guys. Let me go grab that real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's my thinking. Let me scoot this over here. Y'all are fabulous, but I want to play with something else for a second. This is the table runner slash, I, I guess it's technically a table runner. You could drape, drape it across the foot of your bed as an accent. You could hang it on a blanket ladder. You could put it on a sideboard or a buffet. Sky is the limit where you could put this guy. It looks amazing with this pillow. So if you had this guy on a table, you could put this pillow on a in captain chair or on a bench, or if you had this draped across the foot of your bed at the end to add accent, you could have the pillow in the center. These, this is the August bundle and this is the November, play so well together. And then, hold on. I got one other thing I wanna grab from the last box. Okay, this came in our last August bundle and it pairs so well with this same look. Very neutral, and I know we've got some mixed feelings on neutral during big seasons that we want to see color, but I feel like you can kind of take this wherever. So if you fill this with big colorful orange flowers, you've got fall, if you fill this with big colorful pink flowers, you've got spring. So this is one of those items that I think plays well and the textures carry well. The same thing with this. If you're using this as an accent pillow and then you had two larger or two longer orange pillows, brown pillows, whatever colors, greens that you do for fall, 
This is a piece that is continually there year round. That is that like staple item that people are used to seeing in your home. It feels homey, it feels familiar, while the little accents around it change to speak into the season. And so I just thought these items look super good together and that the past box and this box play really well together. The gold spoon, I'll try to pop the photo up here because I, I need to stop getting up and down. I don't know where it's at. The gold spoon would look really good by this. So if you had the pitcher here, the gold spoon that came in the last box, and then some sugars, you have whatever, iced tea, your sugars, and your spoon to stir your drink with. So they are stacking last box to this box, playing really, really well, which is one of the things when I get a newer home decor box, I look into like, if you subscribe to this one box, is everything like this and you can't use it together and it's all over the place? Or does it continue to tell your home's story throughout the year? And so far, fabulously done in telling home story. Now we have one item missing that I can't wait to see what it is. So we'll pop up and talk about that. If you have not already joined the Ask the Pink Envelope Facebook group, run over there. I do have that URL down below in the description. We will talk about the pop-up item whenever we see it. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm really excited to know if it's something for entertaining, like is it a dining piece, like something we could put on a table, or is it more of like a mood setting piece, less about a big display and more about letting other items shine? I don't know, I don't know. Okay, where's my phone? Oh my gosh, I've gotten so many things up here. I don't have my phone anymore, give me a sec. <laughs> okay, I wanna tell you about the Bundle Blessing Project. So the Bundle Blessing Project is how a Free Spirit Bundle gives back. And for every bundle that is sold here, they set aside a portion to go towards completing a room makeover for a family going through a divorce, free of charge. So they just completed their first Blessing Bundle Project a couple of months ago. You can see it on Instagram. I think it's on a saved Instagram, but of course they have it on their website. So Victoria is very focused on giving back. So every time we purchase one of the bundles, she takes a portion of that money, sets it aside to fund a free makeover for a family going through a divorce. And then Victoria herself donates her services to bring the whole look together, which I think is really, really cool. She does have pop-up boxes that pop up. Once again, I put those up when they do pop up. I don't know how frequently yet. We had our first one in between the August and November, so like a late summer pop up. But that's a great way if you see an item here that you're like, oh, I love that. But maybe you can't afford the full bundle or maybe the bundle sells out before you get to it. Catching those pop ups and shopping in that online shop is a great way to grab those. If you're following me here on YouTube, I do post those on the community tab and I also do post them in the Ask the Pink Envelope Facebook group. So make sure you're keeping an eye on those. Okay, do you guys have any questions? If you do, put them down below. If you are a current subscriber, show some love to Victoria and the Free Spirit Bundle team. They did such a great job on this curation. And then yeah, I cannot wait to see that final item and get to chat about it. If you have not already subscribed to the channel, we're having so much fun, so much fall. Fall is happening, we're about to start some fall fashion. I have more fall decorate with me videos coming up. Um, I don't do many this or that because I like to tell the full story of a product, but I do have some this or that in that I decorate a full scene and say, is this more your style? And then I decorate a full second scene and say, is this more your style? So it kind of falls into that, but it's more of a how-to so that if you are purchasing these boxes and you're like, I love it, but I need a little bit more, I'm showing you how to mix and match all your fall home decor boxes. So subscribe to the channel to see those pop up. I hope that you are having an absolutely amazing August. And if you subscribed, I'm gonna see you later. Bye y'all.